Greetings, Divine Radiance. A welcome to your Monday Money Message with me, Nikki Lasha of Ashworth Scott Life Sculpting. I'm a divine interpreter, psychic life coach, and mentor here to elevate you and to elevate that bag. Okay, anyways, let's go ahead and get into the message, you guys. Listen, the more you stick around, the sillier I become. Not really. I have always been this silly, but it's just that you're seeing it more because you've been here for a while. So you family now, but let's see what message spirit has for us. Okay, both. Nope. Let's see what the Monday money message is. Oh, and if you didn't subscribe yet, go ahead and do so. And if you're a return subscriber, hit that thumbs up. Do me a favor, hit it. Go ahead, hit it now. Hit it now. Hit it real good. Okay, anyways. I will praise success whenever I see it. Now, this card has come in before you guys, and this is spirit telling you to praise success of others. The same message, right? But here's the other thing that's coming through. Spirit is saying it's about you also training your eye to see your own success because oftentimes a lot of go-getters, especially those go-getters that are unhealed, will start off in this energy of nothing is ever enough, right? It's never enough. It's never enough. I got to keep going until I reach this, this unrealistic goal, right? Well, the reason why it's unrealistic is because you're not praising yourself along the way. You're not acknowledging your accomplishments along the way. Now, it's about also being able to acknowledge your accomplishments, but not get stagnant or so comfortable that you stop there. It's a balancing act, right? You're either on this end or that end. But Spirit is saying it's about you learning to recognize your success, praising your success, and allowing that be the fuel for your inner child to feel the safety and freedom to continue, right? Because think about children, not just children, but adults too. Everybody likes to be praised and acknowledged, right? So when you think in terms of your inner child, your inner child is always in there, right? Your inner child sometimes shows up in the form of ego. And if you're not feeding your inner child with praise, well, then that inner child's not going to be satisfied. And that, dis that discontent, that not being satisfied, Oh, it can hinder you. It can hinder you. It says, life is always working out for me. I like understanding that things are always evolving. And while there are many things that could be better where I am, it is not really a problem because where I am is consistently changing to something better. I like knowing that as I look for the best things around me where I am, those things become more prevalent in my experience. It's fun to know that things are always working out for me. And as I watch for the evidence of that, I see more evidence of that every day. So you remember that affirmation I told you about, that every morning affirmation, everything that happens in my life serves my highest good and everything is always working out on my favor and in my behalf. And so it is. Say it to yourself every day until you believe it, until you feel it, until you know it, and then you will see it, right? Everything is always working out for you. It is. But the way for that to happen is you got to know it. And even in those moments where things don't always feel good, that's when you're at that point where spirit is like, okay, what are you choosing? Are you choosing to still know that even this is working out for you? Even this is serving your highest good? Or do you feel discouraged and defeated? And are you ready to quit, right? No, -uh, not us, not us. If you're not ready to quit, say not I, uh-uh, not I, comment, not I. But anyway, Spirit is just letting you know that no matter what is happening, it is serving your highest good, period. There is no alternative to that, right? And those things that don't feel good, you experience those things longer if you have not established the knowing that everything that happens in your life is serving your highest good and it's all working out for you, right? Let's see what this one says. I am a vibrational being in a vibrational universe. Okay, don't stop, get it, get it, vibrate, get it, get it. It says, you live in a pulsating, vibrating universe of advanced harmonics. Everything that exists in your air, in your dirt, in your water and in your bodies is vibration and motion. And all of it is managed by the powerful law of attraction. There is nothing that exists outside of the, the vibrational nature. And as you learn to accept your vibrational nature and begin to consciously utilize your emotional vibration indicators, you will gain conscious control of your personal creations and of the outcomes of your life experience. So basically what spirit is letting you know is this, you control your reality. You create your reality. You're starting to notice a pattern here. 
But you got to remember everything is about vibration, frequency, and energy. And in order to receive what you'd rather have or continue to receive what you enjoy having, it's about being a vibrational match to it, right? It's, and I don't know if you remember last week, but how would you react? How would you be? How would you show up if you already had everything you're manifesting now? In order to attract it to this realm and this reality, you've got to be it already. Be a match for it, right? Whatever it is, it's all in your hands. You got this and spirits got you, okay? So I thank you so much for allowing me to serve you. If you are interested in a personal reading, that link is in the description box. And if you're ready to go deeper, I mean, really go deep and heal and release all the blocks that are keeping you from your abundance and everything else is keeping you from, because we, we talk about abundance because that's what you attracted to, but oh, it's so much deeper. But when you're ready, Click that link in the description box, schedule your consultation interview so we can see how you and I can connect with spirit and get you on that path to where abundance is flowing in your life in all sources, consistently, with ease, with grace, and you show up in this world living life on your terms, fully emerged in peace and balance and bliss and power and surrender, all right? I thank you so much again, and I leave you with peace, love, bliss, and abundance. I'll talk to you soon.